The allure of beautiful beaches and tranquil ocean waters draw 100,000 tourists to the island of Zanzibar each year. Visitors and their money are welcome to the Tanzanian paradise. But this East African island, influenced by Islamic extremism, has a dark past and a troubling present. This is a slave memorial here in Zanzibar. Several hundred years ago, when Arab traders first came to this island, they were quick to enslave the local population. Fast forward to 2013, there are no longer slaves here, but today Christians are suffering. Churches have been attacked and Christian leaders threatened. Last February, a Catholic priest was killed outside this church. I heard a crowd of people chanting Allah Akbar, Takbir, destroy this church of, you know, infidel. In May 2012, Bishop Dixon Kaganga helped church members flee a Saturday evening prayer meeting as an angry mob approached. He remained behind in a church office. They were saying that, you know, this pastor, all the Saturday he used to come here. Maybe he's here, look after him, where he is, you know. They were saying, we don't want this church here. We don't want Christianity in, in Zanzibar. The Muslim extremists never found Bishop Dixon, but they destroyed his car and set fire to chairs and church equipment inside the building. They oppose the church, they oppose the message of, of, of Christ, you know, when you preach Christ and Jesus is doing signs and wonders and Muslims are convinced, you know, to become to Christianity. So they want to attack this, they don't want this, you know. And it's not only happening in Zanzibar, church attacks have also spread to the Tanzanian mainland like this one that killed three people and injured at least a dozen others in the town of Arusha last May. Author Raymond Ibrahim says extremists are now waging jihad in African countries that have a high percentage of Christians. It's resurgent Islamic mentality, which is just, it's everywhere. And now in Tanzania, of course, which earlier you never thought of as being a radical nation. Church leaders say attacks and threats have actually strengthened the Tanzanian body of Christ. As for Bishop Dixon's church, services resumed after repairs were made. He encourages Zanzibarian Christians to remain focused on God. He is faith on us that we will endure and we will pass through this and we will become victorious. And many good things are happening. And I don't want people to cry, it's rejoice. Gary Lane, CBN News, Zanzibar.